Welcome my tennis patients. So in this forehand shot analysis, we're gonna start with the great first and we're gonna show the common threads across several players. Okay, we've got Federer, um, we've got Djokovic, Nadal. We've also got an ITF women's player and myself as well to hold myself accountable. And even though all of us players have different styles, you know, different ways of getting to the ball, we all share the same common threads and it's a must, must, must. If it's good enough for these players, it's good enough for you. So let's get right into it. And first with Federer, we'll see. Let's just take note that he is just practicing right now. So obviously his footwork isn't the best, but that's not what we're looking at in this video. So right here we have the start of the coil and he hasn't pulled his arms back. You can already see the upper body is starting to turn backwards. Okay, now from here, he's gonna get more than sideways and you're gonna see his upper body goes past his legs okay and at this point he is basically ready to hit he's setting the racket into the slot position or what we call pat the dog in this program and watch he's just gonna let it free fall and look how good this unit turn is his shoulders have stayed level okay to get to a certain point to get to where he is right now and watch pat the dog, and we see he has maintained the slot, the wrist position from the beginning actually. So let's backtrack a little bit, but as you can see, he's still got that 90 degree angle right there. Let's clear that up and take this back a bit. I want you to watch this. From here, the racket is already in the slot. We wanna get the slot early. Okay, you don't want to really wait until the last second. It's much, much better. And you'll see all the players do this. They get it there. Okay, so you don't have to worry about it later in the swing. All right, when we're blending the backswing and the forwards drive. So we get Pat the dog. You've got the letter L. And from here, even though he's not really exploding up with his legs, you can see his body is turning into it first. And at the time of contact... The racket will be the last thing to come through. Okay, and notice how he's pointing towards his target with his arrow. We've got the letter L in here. It's a 90 degree angle, okay? And he's gonna maintain it in the next step through contact point as well. Boom, oh, sorry. Bring that back there. Boom, okay? As we can see, let me make this clear for you. The letter L is still there. Okay. Allows for a firm contact point. And as you can see, he's also still got his left hand up, but we're just gonna focus on the slot right now. And he will go, boom, across and through the ball. And notice at the end, after he's hit, the wrist and the racket are almost straight. So you relax the wrist, all right, boom. Beautiful stroke, all right? We get that windshield wiper relaxation. Now let's go to the next player. So the next player that we're gonna analyze is Djokovic, and even though these two players have different styles of hitting, they have the same common fundamentals. So already, we're gonna see here that Djokovic gets the letter L, okay? From the beginning, just like Federer. Again, this is a practice. But see, look, it literally follows so perfectly. He's still got the angle, okay? And now he's coiling, okay? Let's pay attention to the hips. Boom. Excellent. And you can see his upper body is rotated more than the lower body, okay? Because when he turns into the swing, he's going to get that extra range of motion, just like we talked about, all right? Now from here, he lets go around the back shoulder. They let go around the same time. They also both invert the racket. We're not gonna talk about that right now, but that is important as well. And there's a reason why everyone does that, including me, and that will be in a separate video. Um, so now from here, we've got the same thing. Okay, slightly different take back, but the racket is gonna end up in the same position. Okay, pat the dog, you've got the letter L. Okay, now this is in the forwards phase now, but we get the pat the dog. Oops. Clear. Yeah, 
So right there, boom. And then, yeah, there it is. Okay, letter L. And from here, he drives the racket forwards. And we're going to watch. He's going to start the swing with his lower body. Boom. Watch the feet. Okay. Boom. He turns everything to his target. And now we've got the slot. He's leading with the butt cap. Okay. Boom. Letter L. And you're going to see the racket will be the last thing to come through. Boom. Okay. Just like that. The angle is there. The left arm is up as well. He's pulled himself into the shot. And he's going to relax the wrist. Okay. We get basically a straight line here. Boom. And you just relax. Now, he didn't catch the racket there. He usually doesn't. But he swung right through the ball across at the height of the ball. So great shot. Let's go on to the next player. Now, I'm going to leave up the video of Djokovic just so you can see how similar it is to Nadal's stroke. Two very, very different styles of forehand, and one's even the left-handed, yet they have the same common fundamentals. So they both keep the left hand on the racket until they get their full coil. And again, Nadal, he gets the letter L early on. Okay, so the slot is already there. Djokovic again. Okay, boom, boom. Now let's let the video keep rolling. Clear this out of the way. Once. All right, hold on. Sorry, there we go. Okay, they're still both holding on to the racket and they let go at the exact same time. Okay, boom, the racket free falls. And we've got Pat the dog again. Okay, and watch. We're going to get the body drive first, right? Nadal's more than sideways. He's going to uncoil with the body first. Boom. Look at the butt cap. Okay, common thread. Letter L. Boom. Contact point. Letter L. Wrist back. It's the only way to drive and really have powerful, consistent forehands, and his follow-through is cut off, but I guarantee you it's the exact same, okay? You can go look at it yourself. Now, let's look at another player. Now, I did say I was going to hold myself account accountable, so that's what I'm doing right now. So let's go through my forehand, okay? I've got, I think, two shots here. Boom, right away. I invert the racket quite a bit, and there is a separate video on that that you will find which explains why you should do it and how to do it as well and i've got my slot though right from there that's what we're focusing on right now and we go and i've got a unit turn another indicator that you've actually coiled and your unit turning is i'm going to point this out and we've got this on the other players too it's a triangle of the shoulders the points of your shoulders and your belly button and watch how it stays. Basically until I put the racket down into the slot. Okay, pat the dog. And then I go and watch. My legs go first. Boom. Okay, not the best uh, angle right there, but boom. Windshield wiper finish. Let's see uh, the next one I think is a better angle. Hold on here. Yeah. So again, yeah, much better. Let's slow this down even more. There we go. Pat the dog. Boom. There's my letter L. It's a little hard to see. I'm going to show you another angle of me hitting from the back, though, and also some other angles of other players. But I'm leading with the butt cap, and I'm starting to explode up with the body. Okay, and I'm uncoiling with the upper body. And the wrist is back. It's flat at contact. Believe me. And you'll actually be able to see much better in the other angle. But it's essentially the same. Okay, I'm not a professional player as of yet. And there's the same angle right there. But I would pride myself in having, you know, near perfect technique. I've practiced my entire life. So I know what I'm doing. And yeah, let's take a look at the woman player that we have now.
So we've got a great player here, and I included this just to prove that men and women can hit the ball the same. Okay, the gender doesn't matter. And all the successful player in the women's, uh, they hit a modern forehand just like the men do. Okay. And the girls who have, you know, really figured it out like this one here are really miles ahead of those who haven't. So we're going to go here. Oops, that's a backhand. There we go. So watch. She's setting up for the ball, and we've got the letter L. Okay, right there. Okay, check checks the box right there. Boom, perfect unit turn. We've got a triangle with the shoulders, all right? And you're gonna notice she's gonna get the coil, perfect. And her upper body is already gotten right past the legs. And she's low and athletic. She's gonna set the racket and pat the dog. Now she's got it in the slot. Okay, she's driving the butt cap forwards, and at contact point, the wrist is back. Boom. Good, we got the frame there. As you can see, and she's going to do the same thing in the finish as well. Boom. A straight line. The wrist relax, and she's just going to relax the follow-through. The follow-through is not too important if you catch it or not. All right, we're focusing on the other things. It's just a byproduct of all the great things that she did before in the shot. Now... Let's go take a look at a few more angles. Okay, from the back angle now, we're gonna go with me, and then we're also gonna look at Federer and Djokovic. Okay, I'm coiled. Okay, wrist position. My hand is still on the throat of the racket, and then right when the ball bounces, I let go to explode. Okay, and from here, it's much faster. Boom, pat the dog, the angle is still there. Okay. Boom, the angle is still there. Draw a line. All right, oops. Okay, but you guys get the point. I'm. This is the first time I'm using this program. Hopefully the other videos will come out better. Ah, there we go. Okay, good, good. There we go, the angle is there. You guys get the idea. Boom. Okay, let's get one more, just for clarity. Slot, contact point, I do have a bent elbow, I usually do. That's just my style. Some players have a straight arm, but the commonality is at contact that we at least have one letter L. And that is, boom. Take that back. Boom. Is this angle right here at least, but most players have a double bend like myself. Okay, and we get the windshield wiper finish. Now, let's take a look at the same angle with Federer and Djokovic one more time. Here's Federer from the back. Okay, he's got an inside out forehand. Look, he's just letting go once he's fully coiled. Okay, this is more athletic than the other shots we've seen. He really gets in the letter L position. Okay, the wrist is back. Pat the dog. He free falls. Knows how he didn't just tug down the shoulder. He just kind of lets it drop. Loose and relax. This is perfect fundamentals. The left arm is out across the baseline. We always want to get that. Okay, the legs are locked and loaded. Now let's watch. Everything has gone through. Okay, he's unloaded. He's unloaded. Wow. Look at that angle, right there, okay? And his body is almost fully pointing towards his target. Now, we'll see, boom. Contact point is a little hard to tell there, but obviously we know he has a letter L and he's got the windshield wiper finish, okay? Let's watch that again. He does catch the racket, which I recommend. Now, the last player. Okay, I've been rambling a little bit, but... Okay, Mr. Novak Djokovic. Hand on the throat of the racket. They all let go in the same position. 
he's got his wrist in an identical position as Federer, the letter L. Okay, watch it. Watch how he pats the dog and gets the slot. Okay, he has a more extreme grip. That's why his strings are essentially facing the back fence. But although of this, they're still going to end up in the same position. Pat the dog. Letter L. Okay. Now let's watch the slot. Jesus. Why is this here? Okay. Boom. Oh, yeah. Racket drive. Look at the angle. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you. Letter L. Double bend. Okay. The racket face is parallel with the baseline. Boom. And watch the finish. Windshield wiper through the ball. Now he's relaxed the wrist. So, thank you for joining me on the forehand analysis. And I'll see you guys in the next video.